Hello, boys and girls. Now it's time to learn about the theoretical aspects of Bow Wow Wow. Let's learn about the theory that makes the song. Okay, so let's take a pen here and let's identify a few things, okay? Well, right here is the treble. Oh, it's hard to write with this. Treble. Clef. And what's the other name for treble clef? The G clef. And you're thinking, oh my, why, why? Why is it called the G clef? Well, because this little line, this circle part of the treble clef identifies the note on this line as G. So that would be G. Like I could put a G here. Okay. So there we go. So now we just identified the G clef or the treble clef. Okay, good. All right, boys and girls. Now let's clear that away. And now, oh my goodness. Let's get another color here. Here is the key signature. And we have two sharps in the key signature. Two sharps. And the sharps tell us to raise the pitch a half step. Do, re, mi, do, re, mi. Okay, so, but we have two sharps in the key signature. Everybody say key signature. Key, sig, sig, na, sure. All right, so we learned about the G clef or treble clef, and we learned about the key signature. Oh, and by the way, this note is a D. The beginning note is a D, and that tells us we're in the key of D. Okay, let's clear that away. Now, here's something you really need to know. The... Time signature. Time sig na sure. Sig na. This is an N right here. I don't know if you can see that. Signature. This is an A. Hmm. Ooh, let's put the E here. Time signature. Well, let's go ahead and clear that. And what's another name for time signature? What's another name for time signature? Meter signature. Because it measures. So we have meter. Or we have another name is time sig na sure. That's a little little clearer, right? Okay, so meter or time signature. And there's a two on the top. So the two tells us that we get two beats in each measure. And the quarter note that is down here at the bottom, and the quarter note tells us the quarter note gets the beat. So what note gets the beat? The quarter note. So here's a quarter note. Here's a quarter note. Quarter note. Quarter note. Quarter note, quarter note, 
quarter note, quarter note, and quarter note. Now, so let's write that up there, quarter. So it's like a quarter, the coin, the quarter. Quarter note. Let's clear that away. What two notes equal one quarter note? Well, two eighth notes. Beam together. These two eighth notes beam together equal a quarter note. Okay? So there we go. Now let's go back and count the beats in the measure. Mm -hmm. Let's clear that. Let's count the beats. One, two, 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 one, two. So each measure has two beats in it. Why? Because in the time signature, the two is at the top. And what note gets the beat? The quarter note, because the quarter note's at the bottom of the meter or time signature. And what two notes equal a quarter note? Two eighth notes equal the quarter note. It's not very nice notes. It should be a nice oval. Something like that. Okay? So that's how the time signature measures the time. Or the meter signature measures the time of the beats and the notes in the song. The rhythms in the song. Okay, now let's get back to clear that away. So what divides notes into measures? What divides notes into measures? What divides the sounds into measures? What's a measure? Well, here's a bar line. Bar line. Bar line, bar line, bar line, bar line, bar line, and a double bar line. And the bar line divides the notes into measures. Just like you measure with a yardstick or a ruler. Meh. Sure. Let's get this guy out of the way. Measures. Okay, let's count the, the measures. Hmm. All right, so we have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many measures do we have? We have eight measures. How many beats in this song, Bow Wow Wow? How many beats? Hmm. Well, we have eight measures. And how many beats are in each measure? Two. So what's eight times two? I think. I'm pretty sure eight times two. Eight, sixteen is sixteen. And we have sixteen beats in this song. Sixteen beats. Wow. How neat is that? Okay. So that's how the time signature, and what's the other name for time signature? Is meter signature. Okay. Now, of course, we've already done the key signature, and we identified the treble clef. What's the other name for treble clef? G clef. Right. Okay. Now, let's clear that out of the way. I spy 
a do right here i spy that that means i see it do and the do is not do not in this case it's do and let's just use a well i'll write out the first one this is going to be do and if this note is do then what is this note here going to be that's going to be do as well do 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 and then do re mi so if this note here would be me this note here has to be me and it's an italian syllable so we're going to spell it with an i me 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 mm -hmm. and now this note would be fa so this note here is going to be so so i'll just abbreviate with s so so and this note here is la la would be so me do me re do so if i do my hand signs do 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 me 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 so 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 la so me do me re do now how do you know how to sing that rhythm oh my goodness well let's review our notes okay let's pick um, orange well this is a quarter note quarter note quarter note q for quarter note and what do we say for quarter note well let's come back to that here's quarter note q for quarter note here's quarter note and here's quarter note and these here are quarter notes quarter q for quarter and quarter okay so one two one <gasps> what is this what in the world this is a quarter rest it lasts for the same amount of time as the quarter note one two three <gasps> notice i took a breath on the quarter rest there's a quarter rest let's do q R for quarter rest. And then we only have one more here. Quarter rest. Quarter rest. Okay. Oh my. What are these notes here? What are these two notes? Well, of course, these are two eighth notes. Beamed together e i g t h two eighth notes and then what do we say for the eighth notes well we're going to come back to that eighth notes eighth notes eighth note two eighth notes beam together with the beam two eighth notes beam together okay well let's clear that away now what do we say for the eighth the quarter note what do we say for the quarter note we say ta ta and i'll abbreviate ta ta and what do we say for the quarter rest nothing shh. we don't even say shh it's just ta 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 what do we say for the two eighth notes we say T, T, ta, 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 T, T, ta, and we know that that's me, so we're going to sing it on that pitch, and then, hmm, let's find the orange again, 
T T T T T of course T T and then this would be ta 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 now some teachers they don't teach the real name of the notes but i do i think it's important even this eight measure song has so much theory to teach it's not only a fun dance circle game movement activity but it's a, a wonderful song to learn about music theory so let's try this here um ta 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 T T ta T T T T T T ta 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 and let's just see here ta 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 T T T T T T T T T T ta 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 okay well there you go boys and girls that is a lot of theory all right, I hope you hung in there with this whole theoretical music theory video. And thank you so much, everybody. Okay, bye.